Welcome to a virtual tour of the High Museum of Art's exhibition, Picture the Dream, the story of the civil rights movement through children's books. We're going to look at works of art today that focus on the civil rights movement, which is an important part of United States history. Today we'll talk about some tough issues around fairness and being kind to each other, but also about how you can make a difference in your own neighborhood and community. All of the works of art that you will see are part of books that you can check out at your local library or find online. Before we begin, please know that you can watch the entirety of this video at once, or you can break it into three parts. This video is structured like the exhibition. It is divided into three segments as shown on the slide. This video is part one, A Backward Path. We will look at a few events that led up to the Civil Rights Movement. All links for the videos can be found at hi.org under the Learn tab. Also, feel free to pause the video at any time to take a closer look. The discussion questions and activity prompts will be available after each slide. Last, be sure to check out our Family Discussion Guide and Teacher Resource Guide for additional resources and information. These are two photographs of the Picture of the Dream exhibition at the High Museum of Art. We're going to use our imagination and walk through these doors to look at this painting. After that, we will look at more works of art that we see on these walls. Let's zoom in really closely now. This exhibition focuses on the Civil Rights Movement. The Civil Rights Movement began by African Americans in the 1950s as a way to give everybody equal and fair rights, no matter the color of their skin. Many important events led up to the Civil Rights Movement, and the movement still exists today. In this image, we see two young girls. The girl on the left is black and is wearing overalls and a yellow shirt and a yellow bow in her hair. She's reaching out her hand to a white girl who is climbing over a wooden fence. The white girl is wearing a yellow dress, black and white shoes, and white socks. She is smiling. The sky is blue with white clouds and there are trees or bushes in the bottom right hand corner. What is happening in this painting? What do you see that makes you say that? This work of art was painted by E.B. Lewis for the book, The Other Side written by Jacqueline Woodson. The time was about 70 years ago when it was against the law for black people to be in places where white people were. The laws during this time were racist and not fair to black people. Even black and white kids couldn't play together. Have you heard of the word racism before? What do you know about it? Racism is a belief that one race or group of people are better than another group of people based on the color of their skin or where they are from. Can you imagine not being able to play with all of your friends? That would be very unfair. In this image, however, the two young girls decide to be friends anyway, even though they weren't allowed to. What do you think the two girls are saying to each other? What do you think will happen next in the story? Let's look at another work of art that shows these unfair laws. Let's hit pause and focus on these questions. What is happening in this painting? And what do you see that makes you say that? Have you heard of the word racism before? What do you know about it? What do you think the two girls are saying to each other? And what do you think will happen next in the story? In this image, we see two boys who are drinking from separate water fountains. They both have their backs facing us. The boy on the left is white with blonde hair and is wearing a checkered shirt with gray pants. The sign above his head has the word white written on it. The boy on the right is black with dark brown hair and is wearing a striped shirt and reddish brown pants. 
Above his head has a sign that has the word colored written on it. They are both standing on a platform and there is grass around them. In the background, we see the side of a building. Like the last image, we see two children who are separated. The word colored is an old term that we don't use anymore. It was another word for a black person and is considered hurtful to say today. The laws made segregation or being forced to separate a law. This meant that black and brown people were not allowed to go into places where there were white people. Here are two photographs from the Highs collection that shows segregated water fountains and spaces. Black people had to have separate water fountains, swimming pools, bathrooms, and so much more. Does this seem fair to you? I don't think so either. In the next image, we'll talk about someone who decided that these laws needed to be stopped. There were so many people during this time period who stood up for what they believed was right in their community. Rosa Parks was one of these people. This work of art was created by Faith Ringgold. It shows a black woman in a red dress with a black and white striped hat and glasses. She is sitting down and holding a black bag in her lap. Her face is turned away from a white man who is wearing a yellow shirt and yellow hat. He is pointing at the woman and telling her something. Two black people sit behind the black woman. Behind them are windows and above the windows are colorful images. Rosa Parks is the woman in the red dress. Rosa Parks was a very important person during the civil rights movement. She believed that the segregation laws were unfair. Rosa Parks was an activist or someone who believes passionately in an idea and will work hard to fight for their beliefs. Rosa Parks worked with other important people during the civil rights movement, such as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to bring a important change and remove unfair laws. In this work of art, she is protesting the law that all black people must sit at the back of buses behind white people. Rosa Parks was told to move, but she refused because she believed the law was unfair. When she did not move, she was arrested. Rosa Parks brought a lot of attention to how unfair these laws were. After many years of activists, including Rosa Parks, working very hard, the laws were changed. Here is a photograph from the High Museum's collection of Rosa Parks participating in a peaceful protest. She is marching from Selma to Montgomery to protest unfair voting laws. Do you know someone in your community who stands up for what they believe in? Who is that person? Do you think you can be an activist? Sometimes it's hard to speak up for what you believe in. People who do that are very brave and it is so important that we all use our voices if we see something wrong in the community. Let's look at what happened once some of those laws were changed. Let's hit pause and focus on the questions. Do you know someone in your community who stands up for what they believe in? Who is it? Could you create a drawing of that person standing up for what they believe in, like Faith Ringgold did in this painting? What is the person doing or saying? Use pencil, crayons, or colored pencils to create your drawing and share it with a friend or adult in your life. Do you think you can be an activist? Why or why not? This is a painting of Ruby Bridges. In this painting, she's wearing a white dress, white socks, and a white bow in her hair. She has a pink sweater on and black shoes. She has two bags next to her and is clasping her hands together in front of her. She's looking up towards the sky while two people stand behind her. We see the bottom part of their legs and their shoes. Ruby Bridges was so brave. She was the youngest African-American student to go to an all-white school in the South in 1960. Ruby Bridges was only six years old. Every day she had to be walked to school by the police because so many white people were mad about the law. They did not want black and white children to go to the same school. 
Ruby Bridges heard people say very mean things to her just because of the color of her skin. She experienced racism at a very young age. Her family gave up so much, including losing their jobs and not being allowed into grocery stores because they were all brave in having Ruby Bridges go to an all-white school. In this painting, what do you think Ruby Bridges is doing? How do you think she's feeling? What do you see in the painting that makes you say that? What's something very brave that you've had to do? Standing up for what is right can be very scary. Ruby Bridges, like Rosa Parks, was a very brave person. Today, Ruby Bridges talks all over the world about her experience. She brings hope to people about being brave and standing up for what's right. Even though so many people were standing up for the right and fair thing, everything was not fixed. Racism was not gone. Let's hit pause and check out the discussion questions. In this painting, what do you think Ruby Bridges is doing? How do you think she's feeling? What do you see that makes you say that? What's something very brave that you have had to do? Thank you for joining us in part one of the virtual tour of Picture the Dream. This is the end of part one. Please visit hi.org to play part two.